To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Hallelujah, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. The Blessings of Obedience February 16, Jesus gives power to obey. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4, verse 15 and 16. Satan represents God's law of love as a law of selfishness. He declares that it is impossible for us to obey its precepts. The fall of our first parents with all the woe that was that has resulted, he changes upon the creator, healing men and women to look upon God as the author of sin and suffering and death. Jesus was to unveil this deception. As one of us, he was to give an example of obedience. For this he took upon himself our nature and passed through our experiences. In all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. If we had to bear anything which Jesus did not endure, then upon this point, Satan would represent the power of God as insufficient for us. Therefore, Jesus was in all points tempted like as we were. He endured every trial to which we are subject, and he he exercised in his own behalf no power that is not freely offered to us. As man, he met temptation and overcame in the strength giving him from God. He says, I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. As he went about doing good and healing all who were afflicted by Satan, he made plain to human beings the character of God's law and the nature of his service. His life testified that it is possible for us also to obey the law of God. By his humanity, Christ touched humanity. By his divinity, he lays hold upon the throne of God. As the Son of Man, he gave us an example of obedience. And as the Son of God, he gives us power to obey. Christ was treated as we deserve, as we might be treated as he deserves. He was condemned for our sins, in which he had no share that we might be justified by his righteousness, in which we had no share. He suffered the death which was ours, that we might receive the life which was his. With his stripes we are healed. Would you do service for Jesus your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you do daily his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Hallelujah, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. Now may the peace which surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and minds on Jesus.